In this video, I'm going to go over an ACT math topic called Uniform Motion. So the formula we're going to use for these type of problems is going to deal with the distance formula. So distance is equal to velocity times time. And velocity is the same as speed, such as miles per hour, feet per second, meters per second, something like that. Now I can rearrange this formula for velocity. So velocity is equal to distance divided by time. And for time, it would be time is equal to distance divided by velocity. All right, so this is our first ACT math problem. So this one reads, Tim runs at a rate of 10 miles per hour. At that rate, how many miles will he run in 14 minutes? Okay, again, so this uses our distance formula, distance equal to velocity times time. We have our velocity is 10 miles per hour. So 10 miles per hour. Now our time is in 14 minutes. Now with many of these ACT problems, you have to have the same unit. So I need to put 14 minutes into hours. So that's gonna be 14 over 60, so 14 60th of an hour. We'll apply those two together. The hour is gonna cancel out and just leave you with miles. If we look here, we're gonna divide by 10. This becomes one, this becomes six. So you got 14 over six. If you make that a mixed number, six goes to 14 twice. Give you 12, we get two left over, so two, six, or you can write it as two and one third. So Tim ran a total of two and a third miles. All right, so here's our second ACT math problem. And it reads, a car traveling at 40 miles per hour has a leaky radiator that is losing five fluid ounces per minute. How many miles will the car travel before the radiator, which held 520 fluid ounces when it began to leak, is empty. So it's losing five fluid ounces per minute. And it started with 520 fluid ounces. We've got to figure out how long it takes for that to be empty. So here you just simply take 520 and divide by five. Okay, so that was ounces over ounces per minute. Okay, the ounces are going to cancel out and you have minutes left over and that's going to give you 104. So 104 minutes for it to uh, leak empty. Now if we're traveling at 40 miles per hour, after 104 minutes, how far did we travel? So here we're going to do 40 miles per hour. Now here I need to multiply our time but I need to have it in the same unit, so 104 over 60. That's gonna be how many hours. You multiply this out, you get 69.3. Okay, so it's gonna be 69.3 miles that they traveled in the 104 minutes. And if we look, we basically use our distance equals velocity equation where our velocity was the 40 miles per hour and our time was 104 sixtieth of an hour. Okay, so simply just multiply the speed times the time and use the 69.3 miles. All right, so this is our third ACT math problem. This reads at 1.30 p.m., Jane leaves Chicago and drives north on I-94 towards Green Bay, Wisconsin at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. Joe leaves at the same time from Green Bay going south towards Chicago on I-94 at an average speed of 65 miles per hour. The distance between Chicago and Green Bay is 321 miles. At what time will the two cars meet? All right, so again, we wanna deal with our distance formula. The first car is gonna be traveling at 50 miles per hour, so that's 50 T would be their distance. Or the second car is going to be 65 
T because they're traveling at 65 miles per hour. Okay, so both of these are distances. Now, if they're traveling towards each other, they're going to meet somewhere. The total distance traveled of them together is going to be the 321 miles. Okay, so them together are going to cover that full distance. So what we can write is 50t plus 65t is equal to 321. Now if we solve for t, that will tell us how long it took to do that. So 50 plus 65 is 115. So 115t equals 321. Divide both sides by 115. And t is going to equal 2.79. All right, so that's going to be 2.79 hours. So we know two hours, but what is 0.79 hours going to be? All right, so that's an hour, so we need to convert that to minutes. So 0 0.79 hours and multiply you know, one hour on the bottom, so it cancels out. It's going to be 60 minutes. Okay, the hour is going to cancel out, leaving you just minutes. So we do 0 0.79 times 60. And that's going to give us about 47 minutes. Okay, so it's going to take two hours and 47 minutes. If they started at 1.30. We had two hours of that. We're at 3.30. I need to add 47 minutes. So if I add 30 minutes, that's going to give me 4 o'clock. And then I have 17 minutes left over, so 4.17. So they're going to meet at 4.17. So in our last ACT math problem here, he says, Dean drove to his mother's house at an average rate of 48 miles per hour. On the way back home, he averaged 30 miles per hour. To be spent a total of four hours and 20 minutes driving was the distance between Dean's house and his mother's house. Now I'm gonna let you try this one. So I want you to pause the video and figure this out. It's gonna be one of these answers, A through E. So once you have the answer, I want you to put the answer in the comments and I will tell you if you're right or wrong. All right, so go ahead and pause the video. So did you figure it out? All right, so put your answer in the comments. I'll let you know if you're right or wrong. So did you enjoy this ACT math video on uniform motion? Well, if you did, you should check out our ACT Math Prep playlist, where we have over 74 videos and growing that help you study for the ACT Math section. All you have to do is go to J Digital Tutoring, go to our channel, check out our videos there under playlist, and remember to like this video and to subscribe. And hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when we upload new videos. Thanks for watching.